You ready to get inspired? Take a look. Why are illegal immigrants more important than Americans? I'd like to hear an answer. Why are people illegal? Why are illegal immigrants more important than homeless people sleeping on the streets? Why do we in the great one of the biggest economies here in California take care of illegal immigrants, but our people are sleeping on the streets? I'd like to hear an answer to that. Why? Nobody can ever answer It'll that question. You you... Why don't people put American citizens first, but illegal immigrants get everything? And I hope you post this. I want this to go viral because I give a damn and I care about my community. My dad is a retired Navy captain. He served our country honorably. My grandfather is a retired Navy captain and I'm doing my part to help our country because I give a damn and I'm gonna fight for it. And I am 100% voting for Donald Trump on Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. The Democrat party does not put our people first. They put sanctuary cities first. They put illegal aliens first. They tax us, they tax our water. You can't even do laundry and shower on the same day. While Nancy Pelosi is getting hundreds of thousands of dollars, robbing our pockets, not doing anything for our people, not passing legislation, passing out pens like they're candy. Meanwhile, President Trump is signing United States Mexico Canada agreement, and he's signing trade deals, and he's cutting our taxes, and he's securing the border, and he's putting our veterans first. I am proud of President Trump, and I am voting for him because he's putting the American people first, period. I'm afraid that did that, did that answer Thank the question. Thank you. Thank you. 2020, way, register to vote and vote. Thank you. Now, if you don't know, that was the conservative activist Scott Pressler. He first became known for organizing volunteer trash cleanups in Baltimore, Los Angeles, and a number of other cities. As I understand it, that's what he was doing there in that video. As he mentioned, he would be voting for Trump. This video is obviously a couple of years old, but it's truth bombs are timeless. Apparently, it was instigated by some woke leftists who were taunting him as he was actually cleaning their city, and he decided to engage them in a debate. And as you could see, it was pretty one-sided. And he entered into that debate in a very fascinating way. He asked a poignant question. Why are illegal immigrants more important than Americans? It's a brilliant question because it brings to the fore the central concern for so many people, not just in America, but in the whole of the West. Why are our political leaders so demonstrably more concerned about illegal immigrants than they are about their own American citizens. We did a video some months back during the lockdowns. You may remember this. Fox News report on teachers for the San Diego Unified School District volunteering to teach illegal immigrant children that were being housed at the San Diego Convention Center. But at the same time, they refused to go back to on-site teaching in their own school buildings for their own students. That's why they had the free time to volunteer. It's because they refused to go back into the classroom and teach the very students whose families were paying their salaries during the lockdown. And so this is what Scott is asking. Why are illegal immigrants more important than Americans, especially as he, cite, he cites when it comes to the homeless? Why are we bending over backwards to accommodate people who aren't even supposed to legally be here in the first place while ignoring the problems and struggles of our own citizens? And that sense of preferential treatment is not just here in the United States. For example, the government of France between the years 2004 and 2013 spent nearly 40 billion euros to refurbish and rebuild mainly ethnic minority housing centers throughout their cities. But the government didn't spend anything even remotely like that on similarly depressed areas that were inhabited by native French citizens. And so this disparity between the way the French government treated immigrants, legal or illegal, and the way it treated its own citizens has created what one scholar calls the rise of peripheral France, where more and more citizens feel like they've just completely been shut out from the national conversation and decision-making. And what Scott did there in this video is he went straight for the jugular, as it were. Why is this? How on earth can a government that was set up for the benefit of the people who support that government through their tax dollars, how can that government treat people 
who have made not a shred of such a contribution and who trample on the very laws established for the protection of its citizens, how can that government treat those people with more attention and concern than they do their own citizens? And of course, the answer is because they're globalists. And globalists, by definition, have no loyalty to any citizenry or to any nation. Their loyalty is to a system that transcends national specificity. It transcends particular populations. And so illegal immigrants are treated with more value and worth precisely because they turn out to be more valuable and worthy for globalist elites. And that's because illegal immigrants help to keep them in power, both in the form of cheap labor that maximizes the profit margins for the corporate capitalist boardrooms who are the chief donors to the globalist political class, and of course, by means of cheap votes. Illegal immigrants, once granted amnesty, disproportionately vote for the globalist left. But the wonderful news in all of this, as you saw with Scott, is that as it turns out, more and more citizens are realizing that they love their nation, that they're eternally grateful for the blessings bestowed upon them by their countries. And they're radically grateful for it. And what we're grateful for we protect. That's what we see with Scott, with President Trump, with the rising patriot movement all over the world. They're rising up to take back their nations. Globalists will lose as long as we have people like Scott. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button and definitely check out my latest video on AOC getting absolutely humiliated at her very own town hall meeting as more and more voters are leaving the Democrats. You absolutely love it. So make sure to click on that link and I will see you over there. God bless.